Hello everyone, this is Sounds Collector here with another action figure review. And here are the Marvel Legends series Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings uh, Death Dealer figure. So let's go over the packaging first. So we get the Marvel Legends logo on top here. We get the Marvel Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings logo on the bottom here with Death Dealer underneath it. And then here's the side art of Death Dealer with that Shang-Chi symbol there. And then here's the back with that same artwork. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then it has that Marvel Legends logo on the top left with that Shang-Chi logo on the top right. And then we get Mr. Hyde here, which we already went through uh, Shang-Chi. Uh, we still got Wing Wu to do. We went over Shang-Chi's sister, Zayling. Um, and then Death Dealer, which we're doing now. We already did Civil Warrior and we already did uh, Tony Stark. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. And then here's the top with that Ching Chi logo. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Death Dealer out of package here. So first let's go over the accessories. So first we get Hyde's uh, left arm here, which we'll go over once we build them, like always. And then we get a hand for throwing knives, which is for his right hand here. So you get two knives here with the transparent plastic that makes it look like he's actually throwing them. And then you get that hand, uh, four hand guards there. And you get these really cool knives here. Right grip, nice silver blades. So that looks pretty cool. And then you get this other hand here, which is for his uh, left arm hand here. And he's just holding the knife to make it look like he's about to throw it, kind of. And it's the same type of mold for the other knives or the throwing ones. And you get that same forearm guard forehand guard there for the hand so there's that nice silver paint for the guards and then that's what we got for accessories so here's death dealer up close so here's this cool mask here i like that red lining there really clean paint and you got that mascara kind of look there for the black you got some red on the cheeks looks really nice and you get that little bit of black there the mask looks really cool though. The sculpt on it is really cool. Makes it look like it's actual cloth. And you get that little ponytail in the back there uh, with his hair. So he has probably super long hair and you get this red band around his hair. And then you get some really nice like navy blue here. You get some like checkered looks for the robe or uh, jacket for him here. You get these two knives in the back here on top, like on this hips kind of, um, same type of mold, looks really nice. I wish you could actually remo remove them, but you can't. I wish you actually, I wish they gave us like actual knives, you know? And then they got that cool sculpting there for the actual belt, so that looks cool. And you get this like little hip pad thing here, nice sculpt there. And the belt here, you get this nice silver sculpt here, 10 rings logo on this belt there. So that looks pretty cool. You get this orange around the collar here, down through the ends, around the edges, and down the bottom. So really cool looking sculpt for the robe. You guys got these blue pants here with the lining down the middle. And you can get these gray neat, silver neat pads here. So that looks pretty cool. And then here's the boots here. So these boots look pretty cool too. And you get this like red um, detailing here. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, looks like some symbol. And you get that same thing on that side. And that these, these boots have like sculpting in it. It's very small, so you can barely feel it, but it's actual sculpt. So that's pretty cool. Same deal with these boots part, boot part here. Um, Especially on the guards there too, so that looks pretty cool. And then yeah, here's the bottom of the feet. And yeah, that's what we got. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot the forearm parts. So yeah, there's those and you get this like red um, ribbon around there. And then here's the back of the arm with the straps for the guard and then gloves. And then these are like wall crawling, wall crawling kind of hands here for him there so that looks pretty cool uh now we'll go over it. uh and then one more detail there's like this silver uh like padding underneath so i don't know if that's something gonna 
if that's going to be something that's going to be put in the movie, like some secret or something, I th I'm pretty sure they'll unmask him and reveal who it is because we don't know who the actor is for this yet. And then the collar piece there. All right, now we'll go over the articulation. So his head can hinge, or yeah, hinge, hinge? Yeah, it's a hinge. So it looks like it hinges down that far, goes up super far. He can look left and right. Uh, a good amount of head pivoting. His shoulders can move out past 90 degrees, 360 rotation around there. It kind of feels like he has a butterfly joint. I don't, yeah, no butterfly joint. It's just pretty loose there. Bicep swivel. We still get the pegs, peg holes there. Double jointed elbows that go past 90 degrees there. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. I think he has an ab crunch, but it's not going to move a whole lot because of that. This is like super tight on around that goes forward like none there backwards now a lot either uh you can do he has a waist swivel so you can do 360 rotation around there if you want legs can kick out that far oh yeah that's another detail in that i forgot there you can even see the inside it has some texturing inside of it too but i'm pretty sure that's just texturing from in here um legs can kick out that far forward uh, just a little bit there thigh cut double jointed knees Still got some peg holes there. Um, and then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And there's Death Dealer for you. So I recommend getting them. The only problem I have is probably just the app crunch there for him, but the robe is pretty tight on him. So I wish, I think the robe should have been sculpted in. It should have been just its own scope, a sculpt. And then they'll just add in the app crunch in there, but it's wherever um but yeah the accessories is pretty good i just wish they added in those small knives for him too and i have him hold those like how deadpool has the sort of holding hands whereas he also had that gun holding hands which most uh action figures have those for holding the swords but deadpool has like the specific ones to hold the swords so i wish they should have done that same thing for this guy's knives but besides that, sculpting, paint, everything is pretty clean. I just wish they added in that um, that accessory with the knives and then the ab crunch could have been uh, improved upon, but oh well. And then, um, yeah, I recommend getting them. Cool addition to the um, like MCU villains. Um, but besides that, that's all I got for this figure. Um, make sure you guys check out my Twitch, The Hunter Collector. Uh, I'm trying to stream every night now. I'm doing Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, and a few other games. So make sure you check that out. But besides that, thank you for watching.